Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Brittany and Cash here. Say hi, boys and girls. Say hi. Hello. It's December. You know what that means, Cash? We can start celebrating Christmas. Yeah. What is your favorite part about Christmas? I want you to think about it. Could it be drinking hot chocolate or eating candy or making spaghetti? special cookies or snacks mm. or you could start singing Christmas music or watch Christmas movies my favorite the elf love it love it love it or maybe you watch the Grinch and how the Grinch stole Christmas Max give me my clock that was my impression of the Grinch I'm not good at it but it's okay. We'll move on. What's your favorite part of Christmas? Hmm. My favorite part of Christmas is the Christmas tree. I, my favorite part is the lights. It kind of reminds me of one light that led some very special people to a very special person. Hmm, I wonder if you guys know what I'm talking about. But every time I look at the Christmas tree, I always think of this big star and the light that led people to a very special somebody. I know typically under Christmas trees, we have presents. But I wonder if you guys can guess who is the, what is the greatest president of all? Over to you, Miss Caitlin. Okay, guys. Thank you, Miss Brittany. Thank you, Miss Brittany. So, we've got an awesome thing for us today. We have an advent calendar. An advent calendar. An advent calendar. And it counts down the days till Christmas. And this particular calendar is going to tell us the story of Jesus' birth as we open up the days. Would you guys like to join us in opening up the days? Do you yes. guys want to join us? Yes! Yeah. Yes! Let's do it! Let's do it all together! Okay, guys. Okay, so guys. you are going to help us build a nativity scene. Yeah. And all the days leading up till Christmas, we're going to open these pieces and build our scene and talk about the story of Jesus' birth. Do you guys want to join us? Yeah. Lainey is going to open day one. I'm going to help her. Lainey, who do we have on day one? A cow! A cow! A cow. How exciting! Moo. Moo! So our first piece of the nativity is a cow. Milo, you have day number two. Why don't you open that up for us? Okay. Oh, Milo. It looks like Milo got our first person. I'm going to help him get him out of there. <gasps> he has one of the wise men. One of the wise men. All right, let's see with Lucy with day number three. Lucy, can you open up day number three for us? Mm -hmm. In the top corner, Lucy's going to open it. Ooh, I think I have Joseph. Ooh, let's see. Oh, she might have Joseph. I think you do have Joseph. Lucy's got Joseph. All right, Lainey, it's our turn for day number four. Look, look, is this thing? <gasps> what is this? What is this? <gasps> Lainey, it looks to me like you've got another one of the wise men. Oh, wow. Luce, Lainey's got the wise men. <gasps> and Milo, you've got day number five for us, buddy. Go ahead and open up day number five. Right here. Right Can I go. help you, buddy? No. Who do you got, Milo? I didn't get anyone. Oh, Milo. Wow. You know what? I think he Milo, has a fence. I think this is either a fence or it's a ladder. We'll have to open more pieces to find out. But maybe for now we could give it be it have it be a fence and put the cow behind the fence so the cow doesn't get out. See? Uh, <laughs> Cute. My cow! All right. Number five. Emily. Oh, Lucy. 
You're the big one, number six. Okay, here All we right. go. Here we go, guys. How many of them? The biggest one in the thing. The biggest one in the box, guys. Let's see what's in number six. Anybody got any guesses? I'm gonna help you, Lucy, because that's kind of hard. Whoa, we have the manger. <gasps> the manger scene. Oh, wow, we're starting to build our scene, guys. We'll have to open more pieces next week. But for now, let's hear the story about some of the people we just opened. Come on. Okay, my friends. So we are going to start learning about the story of a very important person who was born on Christmas and why we celebrate Christmas. We're gonna start that story and that story begins with a girl. God's ways and timing are always perfect. God picked just the right time for Jesus to come to earth. And he picked just the right parents for him. A young girl named Mary was alone one day when an angel appeared right in front of her. She couldn't believe her eyes. Don't be afraid, Mary, said the gentle voice of God's angel Gabriel. God is pleased with you. Soon you will have a baby boy. His name will be Jesus. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary trusted her Lord. I will do whatever God wants, she told Gabriel. Remember that I am Emmanuel, God with you. And rejoice, be happy, because I have come into the world and into your life. Mary's fiance Joseph found out she was going to have a baby before they were married. Joseph was worried. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph's, Joseph, son of David, the angel said, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby is from the Holy Spirit. His name, name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke, he obeyed God and did just what the angel commanded. If you could look through my eyes, seeing how everything fits together, you would see how wonderfully I am caring for you. This is why you must live by faith and not by sight, trusting that I am with you and I love you. Mary's cousin, Elizabeth, was very old when the angel told her husband, Zachariah, that they would have a son and that they were to name him John. John would tell people why they needed a savior and that the one to save them was Jesus. When Elizabeth had her baby, everyone celebrated with her and Zachariah. Then Zachariah said, you, my little son, will be called the prophet of the most high because you will prepare the way for the Lord. You will tell his people how to find salvation through forgiveness of their sins. God sent John to be the messenger who told people to repent and get ready for me. My father in heaven sent me to save you from your sins. This is very good news. Behold, I send a messenger and he will prepare the way before me. Malachi 3.1 so as we go through this week, I want us to start preparing our hearts for Jesus. And how we can do that is by showing his light. Like Miss Brittany talked earlier about the tree and the light it gives, we have the power to share that light with others, to so show Jesus living in us and living in our hearts. And we can prepare our hearts for celebrating Christmas and celebrating him. So go and shine your light this week. I love you all. Bye. Also, don't forget to tune in next week. One, to find out what crazy hat I'm gonna wear next. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Two, to open more days of our advent calendar, nativity scene. And three, to hear more incredible stories about Jesus's birth. Bye.